is Chloe, otherwise known as Princess Aspian, and welcome to my channel. So I have just come out of a really big, really cool, really important autism girls conference, which I had the pleasure of speaking at with some of Australia's biggest autism professionals, which was really, really cool, and really, really exciting, and I'm still really, really buzzed about that. It was amazing, it was really cool, and it was great, and um, that, that's not what this video is about, but uh, the reason I said that is because I'm in Melbourne today, and um, that's how I got the idea for this video. All right, now that I've gotten all hyped up and everything, let's talk about some serious stuff. Good transition. So, as a lot of you guys know, I spent the majority of my teen years going through a really, really, really bad eating disorder. It was something that had good and bad days, and there was days where I was like, yes, I'm recovered from this, and then the next day, I would fall into a spiral of negative thoughts and poor eating habits again. It's something that a lot of girls struggle with. A lot of people struggle with this isn't just a girl disorder it's um, something that affects a lot of people all over the world and I'm so happy to say that I am as much recovered as I possibly can be at this stage of my life now and while I have learned to embrace my body and love myself for what my body is and understand that my body needs to have this weight so I can do things and so I can run and play with my siblings and play with my horses and train 500 kilo animals it's still hard sometimes there are obviously parts of recovery that are difficult and that are not exciting and amazing and cool and exciting the whole time one part of that is uh, changing up your wardrobe again the other week as you guys might have seen on my channel I did a huge declutter of my bedroom and through that declutter I was like I'm gonna get rid of heaps of clothes that I don't like anymore that I haven't worn in ages what I didn't expect however was to have to get rid of clothes that I still love but didn't fit me anymore. It was scary. Of course it was scary. It was terrifying to see that my body had changed so much that I physically couldn't bring in a freight train. That's fine. It was scary to see clothes that I used to love and wear religiously to not even come up past my thighs anymore. It was it was terrifying. And it was more scary because it hadn't been a gradual process. I hadn't like put them on one day and be like, oh, that's a bit tight. And then put them the next day and been like, oh, it's a little bit more tight. And then like eventually being like, oh, they can't get on my legs. I usually wear leggings or oversized t-shirts when I'm home because of that reason. Because I'm scared of the idea of seeing myself bigger and actually physically seeing the size difference um, in terms of my clothing and stuff. I just got cat called. I hate that humans sometimes anyway however I have had to get rid of a few pairs of my skin tight jeans and stuff like that which is fair enough because even when I was in the worst stages of my eating disorder they were still quite tight so I can't expect them to fit now so today I thought I was gonna go shopping for jeans because I feel like jeans shopping is the most scary thing post eating disorder recovery and what better place than in Melbourne when it's very loud and there's trains everywhere because I shouldn't feel like I need to hide my body because you know what it's a banging good body and it should be celebrated not hidden away am I right ladies self-love yeah it's also currently autumn coming up to winter so I need clothes that aren't just oversized t-shirts because I'll freeze my bum off which I actually have now and I shouldn't be afraid of having that and I think I need to stop the stigma of being afraid of it so we're gonna go on an adventure to Melbourne Central and a couple of other shops around Melbourne and we're gonna go shopping and we are going to see what we find. And with that, let's get going. Not a cool mum, like what? a boring mum who goes bird watching on Sundays. <laughs> they are yonks bigger, like so much. Like you could fit like a small child in the back of that. <laughs> really comfortable. Like I really like how these feel, but I didn't realize until I put them on that they're bell bottoms and um, that's probably just not gonna go with a lot of what I have. And they feel really comfortable. There's still quite a bit of room. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so Topshop was a flop. Their sizes 
some of their sizes were really, really, really small, and then some of their sizes were massive. So you couldn't really get a good idea and the sizing was all really weird as well like some of the sizes would be like really tight at my waist and really really baggy um, at my thighs and then vice versa for something so okay i know i'm meant to be looking for jeans but i'm obsessed i need to find this okay never mind this store literally sells all of lazy oak stuff i've never seen lazy oak in stores this is so cool these are cool, but they also feel really harsh and that's just not gonna happen. So they fit, and I really like the style of them, but they're just a tiny bit tight along my tummy, and I'm really, really sensitive to things that I'm like, I really like this and I'm going to take a photo of them so I can find a size that might be bigger. I do really This here is the same brand of the pair of jeans that I just got rid of because they were too small for me, so I've gotten the next size up in a slightly different um, cup. So. It's so weird because I literally just try to size. 12 on that was really tight, like I couldn't even get it on because I just tried to size 8 on in the same sort of style of chicken and they were really, really, really loose. So sizing is really weird and it doesn't make sense and it's all a lie. Okay, just for fun, this is the last kit that I got. These are jeans that I caught it on. I have worn a pair of these and that was like 6. Um, but I found them and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So um, let's try. He really like these. I think I'm definitely in the market for corduroys now. So I have now done Topshop, Unico, I don't remember, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and the other shop, which I don't remember the name of. Um, I'm just walking over to H&M now, and yeah. focusing so um forgive me for that part of me really hates melbourne because like people and i hate the big crowds of people and everything but the other part of me really really loves it because it's really cool seeing so many people come together like there's like five street buskers all over there all doing a different thing one of them's playing the flute one's playing in the car one's singing one's doing a magician the other i don't know what the other one's doing but um it's i don't know it's really cool it's cool seeing so many people come together and like one performer or one like thing like brings so many people together from so many different backgrounds i don't know food for thought <laughs> also i just saw that west side story is coming to melbourne so now i'm double happy life is good right now i can't find a pair of jeans but life is good This is the fanciest H&M I've ever seen. This is crazy, is this what city life is like? No, 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 I hate yes. I refuse to wear anything that is less than like touching my belly button practically. Guys, check out this guacamole shirt, that's so cute. It says holy guacamole, that's literally my catchphrase. I don't need it, I'm looking for jeans. Guys, H&M has literally nothing. Like, I can't find a single pair of decent jeans here. Um, so... Yeah. I can't find any jeans, but I did find this skirt. I don't usually wear denim skirts because I don't like them, but this one has daisies all over it. And I think it's actually really cute. It's a little bit tight, but like, let's sort of tight that clothes are meant to be. Um, which I've avoided for so long because I've always thought that like, tight clothes equals like... Mm, that you know you're, you're too big um which is silly because tight clothes are meant to be tight so they like don't fall off and you know reveal your hoo-ha <laughs> but i think i like this and it was on the clearance rack so i think i might get it and i think it looks really cute and 
I think denim on denim is a look. Yes, Jojo Siwa, come through. Okay, but like I actually low key want it. <laughs> So that was less than ideal experience, I guess. I ended up not buying any jeans, which to be honest, I'm not really surprised at because I'm really, really picked with my clothing. I hate textures that are really weird or really heavy and like stiff. I hate things that um, really like, like uh, uh, with your tummy. I hate things that um, are loose in certain areas, that are tight in certain areas. Which is why I stick to oversized t-shirts and skirts. <laughs> I think the main thing that I wanted to get out of today though wasn't a pair of jeans. I, I really didn't care about actually purchasing a pair of jeans. I didn't go into today with the mindset of I want to get a pair of jeans. I went into today with the mindset of I want to be more comfortable with my body. I want to be okay with my body and I want to get away with the stigma that I have got in my head that certain sizes mean certain things and that I can't be good enough unless I'm a certain size because I found it really hypocritical that on my channel I'm always talking about love yourself and be positive and like you know like treat yourself with kindness and stuff and I don't do it to myself which is really really hypocritical and I'm just starting to learn that. Something that I did find today is that jeans sizes are absolutely bull. They mean nothing. I tried on a pair of size 8 jeans that were really 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 bagging on me and I tried on a pair of size 12 jeans which were so tight that I couldn't even get them up my legs. So at the end of the day, something that I've discovered today is that sizes mean nothing and the idea that you have to fit a certain size to be beautiful, that you have to fit in a certain size to, to be considered skinny or to be considered pretty or to be considered thick or whatever it is, is so stupid and means nothing because it's not true. Dress for yourself and love your body the way it was made and don't think about the sizes, just think about what feels right, you know? So that is the video that I've got for you guys today. I know that this was quite different compared to my usual videos that I tend to do. I've been saying that for every single video for my past a million videos, so who knows what my channel is anymore. But I just wanted to do this mainly for myself, I guess, because like I said, I've been really struggling with um, body positivity since recovering and being like, oh, like I know I'm recovered and that's so good that I can like do all these good things now, but freaking clothes don't fit. And I seen, I and I saw that as a failure, and that's really freaking sucks. So in future, when I go shopping, I'm definitely going to not worry about the size of clothing and not worry about how big the number is or whatever, because it really means nothing at the end of the day. You know, I don't know, man. Love yourself, love the body that you're in because it's the only one you have. You need to look after it so it can look after you. Anyway, that is it. I have had such a big day and I am exhausted and the train that I was just on was so crowded, so I'm literally knackered now. So I'm gonna go home and I'm going to change into something a lot less sparkly and I'm gonna go and crush for a few days. That's it, that's the video. If you guys did like this sort of video and you guys wanna see kind of more of this sort of style of video, do let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I don't mind, do whatever you want, do whatever makes you feel happy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.